Hello everyone and welcome to Everything Star Wars. I'm your host Rob. Is this is the first time you're here? Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell down below so I can continue to give you everything that is Star Wars. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. Just want to thank all my family members for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Love and support you've given me so thus far. And today we're going to talk about Kathleen Kennedy. Might be the biggest nightmare for some people because they thought with the bomb of Solo that it was inevitable that Kathleen Kennedy was going to step down. Well today there was a trailer, there was a release of a new video game coming out. It's a Darth Vader VR, means virtual reality. And um, we're going to get into that tomorrow. Uh, the next video and but Kathleen Kennedy came out with a statement so before I, I, I say that actually last week Bob Eager was saying he had to slow down Star Wars it was he blamed it on himself we putting out the movies too fast um, you know stuff like that stuff to that extent and he didn't realize that the reason, again, and I'll state this a hundred times, that for the solo flop was The Last Jedi. The boycott was about The Last Jedi. It wasn't about solo. Now I can tell you, I've been on Twitter, and I can't tell you feed after feed after feed after feed people saying, Wow, I saw Solo. It was a good movie. I really enjoyed Solo. I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. How many people have bought it? Now, I don't know the official number. But I know people who are jumping on Twitter, and I have a lot of people who I follow, I think over 70. A lot of people are buying this, commenting, they're writing to Ron Howard, they're loving the movie, they love what he did with it. Some people even said it was their favorite. A few said they didn't like it, and that's to be expected, not everybody's going to. Uh, I don't think it was the greatest of all the Star Wars movies. But I think it was a very good movie. I felt Star Wars in it. Of course, like every movie has its little tweaks that I'm like, eh, they could have done this and done that. But overall, I really loved it. I had a great time in the movie theater. It was a lot of fun. You know, again, it's just my opinion. So you would think after all this, Bob Eager comes out and says, look, you know what? I messed this up. It's all my fault. We're putting out too much movies. It's Star Wars fatigue. I don't know if he doesn't get it or if he just in constant denial. So with that being said, all the fans thought, oh man, look, there's no mention of Kathleen Kennedy. Oh look, there's no mention about Ryan Johnson's trilogy. So people were having debates. Like I was watching live streams with five people from five different channels arguing, saying she's not coming back. And someone said, no, I can't see her stepping down. I, I couldn't see her stepping down either. Why would she at this point? And Disney has billions of dollars. I mean, come on. They try, They bought out what Fox, and they're trying to buy the movie rights back. And So, obviously, they have money, you know. So, what did this boycott officially do? What it did is, is instead of us getting a Star Wars movie every year, or possibly two, and getting more stuff on the streaming service, now... I don't know how often we're going to get it at all, and I'm a person who wants to get more. Now, I know what you say. You're going to say, well, yeah, we can get more, but it's got to be better stories. And you're right. It's got to be better stories. Bob said, maybe if we take a step back, then we can put out better quality, put out better stories, put out better movies, get the hype back. That is possible. That is, I'll give them that. That is possible. But on the other end of the spectrum, you have enough writers, you have enough money, you have the talent you could have planned this out because there's so much to plan out. You could watch the fans, listen to the fans, read the comments, you know, check out social media, see what everybody's doing. That's what Johnson did, and that's why he went for shock value. So I don't think that Ego gets that it wasn't that Solo was a bad movie. It was that... Everybody was just ticked at The Last Jedi and it split the fandom too. So Kathleen Kennedy is back. Despite the fact that people thought that she was gone, she was going to step down, this was over. So she comes out with this Darth Vader VR, comes out, 
And she says the following. I'm going to read it to you and post it up here at the same time. This is from Kathleen Kennedy. She said, We always look for opportunities to explore the Star Wars universe in new ways. ILMX Lab is very excited to be working with David S. Goyer on its first of its kind Star Wars experience, which allows fans to travel to Darth Vader's fiery lava ridden fortress and yield a lightsaber on his home turf. Kathleen Kennedy. This came out today. Why did she say this? Because you'll see my next video. It has to do with the Darth Vader VR virtual reality game that is coming out and that will all be explained in my other two videos. So she's back. After all this, after Iga talked, after people assumed that because Iga never mentioned her, never mentioned Johnson, everybody said that's it. She's been laying low, no one's heard from her, maybe she's stepping down and this is just, you know, instead of them broadcasting it, they're going to keep it to themselves and she's going to be out. She's not. She came out today with that statement. Now what does that tell you? Why on earth would she come out with that statement? Why would it be her if she was stepping down? It would have been someone else. So unfortunately, my belief is that she's not stepping down. And my belief is she may be here for a long time to come. So was the message conveyed? No. So do the boycott, what did we do? Did we hurt them or did we hurt ourselves? That's the real question here. Did we hurt Disney and Lucasfilm? Or did we hurt ourselves from getting more Star Wars? Now there is Star Wars Resistance which comes out very soon, a couple of weekends. There is the Clone Wars. There will be Star Wars Celebration in Chicago in April. And there is Galaxy's Edge. So there, and don't forget Episode 9. So there is a lot on the horizon. The old Battlefront 2 has a bunch of new content. And they're putting new content. I'll get to that in my other video also. So what do you think of all this? Do you think she's back? Do you think there's just some kind of PR thing for, that, for Disney? Or do you think that this is just a hoax you know, maybe she's just involved in this project and they just want to save face. Or is she done? You could tell me what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. And let me know in the comment section below. Again, this is Rob Delavis for all of us who love everything Star Wars. Thanks for being with me. Give me a like. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Hit them hard. Smash them. And I'll see you next time in my next video. Kathleen Kenny, what do you guys think? Let me know. Take care, man. My daughter wants to give a little message about my channel. Go ahead, tell them about my channel. Subscribe to Daddy's channel. Thank you. <laughs>